Let's go back to the United States where a man who took four people hostage at a Texas synagogue has died. The captives who were held inside a synagogue were rescued unharmed. Hostage negotiators were locked in a tense standoff as the man was apparently demanding the release of a convicted terrorist. According to Texas Governor Greg Abbott, all the hostages have now been released uninjured. The man took hostages during morning services, which were being live-streamed on the synagogue's Facebook page for a time. At least four hostages were inside the synagogue, including a rabbi. The Colleyville Police Department tweeted that it was conducting SWAT operations at the address of the Congression, Beth Israel. There have been no reported injuries as yet. U.S. President Joe Biden was briefed on Texas synagogue crisis. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki tweeted saying Biden has been briefed about the developing hostage situation. Over eight hours into the crisis, police in Colleyville said one of the hostages had been released uninjured earlier. A police statement said this man will be reunited with his family as soon as possible and he does not require medical attention, end of quote. The standoff sparked an outpouring of concern from Jewish organizations around the U.S. as well as from the Israeli government. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett said Israel was closely monitoring the hostage situation. Israel's Foreign Minister Yair Lapid tweeted that the Israeli consul in Houston was on her way to the scene. Now, according to U.S. official, the man was demanding the release of Afia Siddiqui, who had been dubbed Lady Kaida by the U.S. tabloids. Initially, the man claimed to be Siddiqui's uh, brother, but then later clarified her brother is in Houston. Siddiqui is a former Pakistani scientist. In 2010, she was sentenced by a New York court to 86 years in prison for attempted murder of U.S. officers in Afghanistan. The high-profile case sparked outrage in Pakistan. She is currently being held at a federal medical center prison in Fort Worth, Texas. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.